if Colombo receives 150 mm of rain, is normally flooded, but this time, that is in October 2022, how did the city of Colombo not get flooded with heavy rain for many days continuously? Colombo city is located slightly below the sea level. Because of this, the Kalan River has the most dangerous effect on Colombo. As the Kalan River flows through several large urban areas and falls into the sea at the mouth of Colombo at Mutual. Because of this, on average, if 150 mm of rain falls in 24 hours, the surrounding areas of Colombo will be submerged. From Kaduela, Hangwella, Kolonava to North Colombo, Grand Pass, Nagaram Street, and even Freedom Square have been flooded that we have seen. Apart from that, the parliament premises located in Diawanawa was also submerged. Even though the city of Colombo received more than 150 mm of rain for 24 hours for two days in October 2022, the flood water did not overflow Colombo as before this time. Why? Floods in Colombo have been exacerbated by high intensity rainfall, insufficient storage, conveyance, and outflow capacity in the Colombo drainage system. In the last decade, the storage capacity in the basin has reduced by about 30% due to uncontrolled landfill and floodplain encroachments by illegal settlement. The conveyance capacities have been restricted by solid waste, floating debris and bottlenecks in the existing canal system. The outflow capacity of the system is not sufficient to cater for rainfall of higher return periods. Due to high intensity rainfall, insufficient storage, conveyance and outflow capacity, Metro Colombo area is subject to frequent floods during heavy rainfall, which causes economic losses and casualties. The situation is much worse when the water level of the Kalana River rises due to rainfall in the upper catchment. Accordingly, the government of Sri Lanka, through Metro Colombo Urban Development Project, decided to construct a pumping station to pump out storm water from San Sebastian South Canal to Bayrele, hence both to the Indian Ocean. Under the Metro Colombo Urban Development Project, there were two more pumping stations and an underground tunneling system to convey the flood waters. This was the reason why this time Kalam wasn't flooded as before. In order to enhance the outflow capacity of Colombo Canal system by creating an additional outfall, it has been decided to construct a pumping station to pump out stormwater from St. Sebastian South Canal to Bayre Lake. The maximum pumping discharge thus expected to be achieved is 10 cubic meters per second. Completion of St. Sebastian South Pumping Station Lifting and pumping 10,000 liters of storm water per second to Bayre Lake and to the Arabian Sea. The project has been successfully completed under budget within two and a half years during an era of unprecedented disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic in Sri Lanka. The project would tremendously help to ease the flooding in Colombo city during the two monsoons. A great achievement and a remarkable contribution to Mother Lanka.